What's going on YouTube? This is Mike living with 3M. Day 15 of Vlogmas, I think. Like every day, I just get lost in the shuffle, man. Out here with the Golden Bears and got Legend. And we're gonna talk today, it's another two-part video, another two-part video. We're gonna talk about the grill and why some, just some Raptor guys or some four guys call us posers um, try to uh, make it like we want to be raptors or something like that man i know i have an xlt uh, don't pretend to have a raptor but anyway we'll get into that and also from when they installed my cat skin leather seats the rear seat has been vibrating and clicking and clacking when i go over bumps so we're gonna check that out too and find out exactly what the issue is with that. Stay tuned. All right, out here with Gabriel and Abby and they're guarding the property from squirrels and cats and the mailman, you know, things like that, even though they wouldn't harm a a fly if he caught a squirrel he wouldn't know what to do he probably it'd probably traumatize him but anyway back to the topic at hand the raptor grill i really don't even like calling it the raptor grill the ford grill one of my reasons that i bought the grill was you know 160 170 bucks on ebay or Amazon, I can't remember where, where I actually got it, but I just love the look of it. And it's it's hard to put into words. I mean, I love the grill. I, I've thought about going back to the factory XLT grill, which I have put up in my attic, but I don't know. I just, there's something about it from time to time that I just, I get so many comments on it. I'm being honest, I, I can't, I can't go get gas without somebody mentioning the headlights or the grill or the paint lift wheels or tires one of those mods we we usually wind up talking about at where, where i'm at food line parking lot gas station you know it's always somebody walks up to me and talks about the truck but a lot of times it is the grill so for those guys that, that think it's like, man, that belongs on a Raptor, man, it, it's, it says Ford. If it said Raptor, I would just, I, I would stay away from that. I really like it because it's in the matte black finish and that goes along with just about every other black accent that I have on the truck, plastic here and there, even the mirrors. I haven't done the, uh, covers on the mirrors yet but still the the ford grill um raptor grill man it, you know it's for me it, it just it's an add-on statement that looks good now for those guys that have a factory truck xlt and their first mod is to throw that grill on there uh, i just i don't know i've seen a few of them and i'm like eh. It looks okay, but I probably wouldn't have done that mod first. Just saying. But that's, everybody's different, man. We all do our own thing. And whether you put, you know, whether my view is, okay, you change out your grill and you put a platinum grill or I don't know the other grills, limited, um, all these other grills, that, the options that you can go with but yet nobody calls them posers. But something about that Raptor that uh, guys spend a lot of money on a Raptor and they get really emotional when they see this on an XLT. And I just, I don't see it. I, it's not like putting Cobra emblems on a V6 Mustang because you're trying to be something you're not, you're posing in that aspect. And like I said, that comes back to, if it said Raptor, I would not put it on the truck at all. I mean, it's obviously not a Raptor. 
All right, uh, give you guys a look at the Plasti Dip badges, emblems. <laughs> Man, there's a bug on there. That figures. <laughs> Gone. So, yeah, turned out really well. No overspray. Everything looks good on those. Check out my video on those. I done that yesterday. So, okay, well, now that my rant is over with about the raptor grill and now we'll get to trying to figure out i mean i guess it could be that that's what it sounds like going down the road um but it just i'm not really sure what it is uh it very well could be that Yeah, I'll have to look into that. But I'm noticing something else right here. Okay, okay. When they took everything out, I see the speaker box on the factory carpet, it does not slide. But on the Husky liner, uh, and my little grippers here are very far up. So watch, oh, I bet. Yeah, they didn't. I had a screw or a sheetrock screw just going through this bracket and screwing into the box. Watch this. Yeah, my box is actually sliding forward. So I'm gonna have to address that real quick too. Gonna secure my shit. Yeah, we're gonna have to secure the box because we don't want it sliding forward and crushing us in an accident. God forbid, you know, man, explain to the uh, paramedics that, yeah, you got to get those 10 inch subs off of him before we can get him to the hospital. So, okay. All right. So, uh, and you can see where I had the screw right down through there and just pulls, pulls the box securely back. So it's just a basic sheetrock screw. So I'll take care of that now. And I don't know what we're going to do about this. But anyway, I'm gonna look into it and uh, try and address the rattles. And if I see anything else, I'll let you guys know. But right now I'm gonna go get the drill and uh, put a sheetrock screw in right there. Okay, I actually found out what the rattle was. The speaker box, since they did not secure it the way I had it, which they're not required to do stuff like that. Uh, they just covered the seats. But uh, see, right where my finger is, I had to put a, uh, I guess it's a sheetrock screw right there. And it basically holds the box. It goes through that factory bracket and holds the box from sliding forward. I think I got it pretty well even. I mean, you could run it on back here, but if you do, the seats won't come all the way down. So I've got it just where I need it to be I measured on both sides. So um, here is the other sheetrock screw just holding all it's designed for. You can't ever see it. It's just designed for me. I'm designing it. I guess I'm the designer. Yeah. Yeah, man, put sheetrock screws in a, in a box. I'm a designer. So uh, holding the box from sliding forward and that's going to stop that annoying rattle. So you guys is, see it right here. So you can't see anything from here got a little wear no that's just glue where that box was put together but can't really tell this is bright sunlight so i'll take you around here also a quick look at the emblem plasti dip yesterday you guys got any plasti dip questions feel free to ask and uh i'm by no means an expert on any of it So there you go. All right, yeah, you can see that screw right there a little bit. I may get something to cover that, a little uh, plastic or a rubber washer or something where you just can't really see any of that. I'll work on that. So, okay, so we, and man, I don't know if you guys can see this right now. Let's see if I can zoom in. We got the leaf truck from the city coming by 
and he will eventually be right in front of my house as you can see these leaves down here at the stop sign i know he's coming and i just got legend halfway cleaned up pulled out in the front and that's the way it goes guys you you know that with y'all's nice trucks cars everything that's that's the way it goes as soon as we get them cleaned up a little shot of the steps going up yes all right that's gonna do it for the video guys if you will please subscribe comment and like smash that like button just annihilate that like button man just crack the screen you hit that like button so hard i would really appreciate it and yeah i'd probably owe you a new phone if you crack the screen so don't do that just uh but please help your boy out and we will see you tomorrow for another video god knows what it's gonna be but we're gonna figure out something for blogmas yeah.